All right, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and Edels of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere actors. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God's people here for a bit. Once again, expect to suffer. I mean, expect it. Yeah, these false Israelite groups telling our people that they're not going to suffer. Look, it won't be no tribulation. Everything's going to be smooth selling. But what does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? See, the scriptures already tell us don't add and don't take away. Expect to suffer, Israel. First Peter chapter 4, verse 1. For as much then as Yahweh Shai, who they only call Jesus, right? Have suffered for us in the flesh. He wasn't just a spirit, Israel. He suffered in the flesh. He was tortured. He called pure hell on earth. You know? He was persecuted. He was lied on. All of, all of the above. He suffered, right? For as much then as Yahweh Shai has suffered for us in the flesh, Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Expect to suffer. Every day is not going to be a sunny day. All I don't know if you've been watching the news or I don't know if you left the crib in the last two months or, or what's going on in your life. But all hell is breaking loose. And you mean to tell me you don't expect to suffer anything? Everything's going to be smooth sailing? No. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Know that you're pretty much going to have to go through the things that Lord Yahweh went through. Okay? You got to suffer some of the same fates that he suffered, man. Now, and then the scriptures tell you no one ever went through what Lord Yahweh went through. But we're going to go through something. It's, look, expect to suffer. Look, that was written for our learning. And I got the definition for the word suffer. Experience or be subject to something bad or unpleasant. Hey, look, expect that Israel, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians expect to suffer. Expect something bad to happen to you. Unpleasant to happen to you. Expect to go through heartaches and pain. You know, agony. Expect all that. Expect to be stressed out. You know? Endure. Means to make hard. To go through hardship. Misery. Distress. Adversity. Tribulation. Pain. Expect the torture. Torment. Affliction. Sadness. Sorrow. Grief. Woe. Headache, heartbreak, stress, hell. Expect to go through it. Expect to suffer, man. Be afflicted by or subject to illnesses, different body ailments, all that. And still going through all this hell. Expect it. And expect to, to you have to put up with it, pretty much. Look, it, it ain't no way around it. It ain't no way around suffering. Because what the scripture say again? First Peter chapter 4 verse 1. For as much then as Yahweh shall have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. That he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men. But to the will of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Lord want, want us to make our bodies a living sacrifice, right? You know, that, look, that's what the scripture said. Expect to suffer, Israel. Sirach chapter 2, verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we're being put through those fiery trials to see if we're acceptable. These different trials being defamed, being slandered, 
being persecuted, lied on, spit on. Some of us may even have to lose our life, man. That's part of them fiery trials, though. Once again, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. As your Lord and Savior, the servant is not greater than his Lord, right? Sirach chapter 2 verse 5, for gold is tried in the fire. And anytime you take gold and you put it through the fire, it takes off the impurities, man. And it makes the gold even more precious. An acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. So you go catch some hell. You know? Every day is not going to be a sunny day in this thing of ours, Israel. So look, somebody didn't lie to you. That's all that was. Yes, they did. Some, somebody lied to you, Israel. Told you that everything was going to be high. Right. Told you you didn't have to go through nothing. But look, that ain't what the scriptures say. Listen, look, we're going to roll in the spirit. More scriptures. And then the thing about it, you can't even run from it. You can't move to another country. You, you can't go hide up on a rock. You know, can't go hide in the bushes from suffering. You're going to show enough, go through it. This is Romans chapter 8. Verse 16, the spirit itself bear with us with our spirit, that we are the children of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. And of children then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him. You want to become joint heirs? Then you got to suffer. You want to become joint heirs with Lord Yahweh Shai? Then you have to suffer. It, look, it ain't no getting around suffering. Expect to suffer, right? And of children and heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, meaning we're going to go through some things. And, it, and look, it's not going to get better either. It's going to be a shortage of food. A whole lot of us going to lose our jobs, lose our homes, be in the woods somewhere sleeping. Have it go down. Just expect to suffer, right? Losing family members left and right. Expect to suffer. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us if we faint not, if we endure until the end, if we endure the sufferings. Remember, this is gold being tried in the fire. And then the thing about it, you have by Shemel Shai said, look, this, this is light affliction. I, I want to get that right quick. You have by Shemel Shai said, look, this is light affliction. Everything that you're going through right about now, light affliction. Now, do it, do it feel like it? No. And then the Lord said, He ain't going to put nothing on you. You can't handle it. That's the beauty of your how about Shemia was shy. They're not going to put anything on you that they know you can't handle. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. Matter of fact, I started 16. For which cause we faint not. The word faint, you know what I'm saying, means to pretty much be weary. You know what I'm saying? Worrying yourself to death, right? For which call we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man, meaning that spirit, is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, everything is leading up to the, to this point right here, and the things after. Look, the heavenly Father said it's light affliction. So no matter what you go through, and the things that we have been going through, Yahweh by Shemia Rashad said that's light affliction. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, I mean, this is not going to last for all eternity. Us suffering and going through the things that we're going through right about now, this ain't the end all, be it all. We're not going to go through this forever. It's but for a moment. Working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen and that, that would keep us going to that faith that hope and that's all we got we prisoners of hope right that after the suffering I'm saying comes a smile comes joy 
For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And we got to thank Yahweh Bashmi Shai for that, man. We most definitely got to thank Yahweh Bashmi Shai for letting us know, according to the Bible, that this is not the end all, be it all catching hell, trying to find a job, losing family members, losing wives, losing kids, suffering. Look, that's not the end all, be it all. Ain't that a wonderful thing, Israel? It's not the end all, be it all. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 10. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living power, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who is the Savior of all men, Israelite men, women and children, especially of those that believe. So we believe that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai can deliver us and save us out of any predicament. And once again, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai said, He ain't gonna put nothing on us that we can't handle, right? We suffer reproach. We put in this work because we believe in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It's just, it's just a beautiful story, Israel. It, it truly is. That the Lord still got his, his spirit on us to be able to go through the things that we're going through. You know, every Israelite is not suffering for righteousness sake. The majority of our people are suffering because they're wicked, man. But the whole for elect, we're suffering, you know what I'm saying, for righteousness sake, right? Philippians chapter 1, verse 29, For unto you it is given in the behalf of Yahweh Shai, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer. For his name's sake, to suffer Israel. Yahweh Shai put the Spirit on us to believe, to have faith in them. And they also put the spirit on us to be able to suffer and endure it. And Lord willing, we, we're of that number, man. You know, because tribulation is coming. Hell is coming, man. All kind of hell is about to break loose. And Lord willing, we we'll endure it. Acts chapter 14, verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we through much tribulation, suffering, right? Through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. So we're going to have to go through some things. It says, through much tribulation. I got the definition for tribulation. A cause of great trouble or suffering. A cause of great suffering, man. Trouble and suffering. Look, that's what's coming. And the scriptures say, look, in order for you to enter into the kingdom of heaven, you got to go through pure hell to get there. Fire on one side, water on the other side. Yeah, look, man, but at the end of it, smiles and tears of joy. Smiles and tears of joy, tribulation, trouble, worry. Same thing, no saying with, um... The other word, you know what I'm saying, that I read earlier, basically suffering, same thing. Misfortune, difficulty, trauma, adversity. But the scriptures say, if we faint in the day of adversity, our strength is small. That's why we constantly need prayer. This is the time to be, if, look, if you know all these things are coming, this is the time to be getting your mind right where you have by Shem Yahushua praying for more strength. Look, you know all these things are coming, Israel. We look, we all know. Ain't no need of looking all crazy in the face. You know all these things are coming. So constantly, look, pray to you have by Shem Yahushua now. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 10. If thou faint, get weak, get weary in the day of adversity. When you start catching hell, Thy strength is small. That's why I write about now. You pray for more strength. You pray for more endurance. You pray that you have a bunch of shot. Keep his spirit on you to be able to make it through whatever's coming. You know. You pray to you have a bunch of shot. Keep his spirit on you to endure 
whatever's coming your way. And look, remember Israel, and I always tell myself this all the time. Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is not going to put something on you that they know you can't handle. If they put it on you, that means they know you can handle it. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. He that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. So I just want to bring out a couple of scriptures. Through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai suffering, expect to suffer. Through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai endure. Endureth all things, hopeth all things, believeth all things, Israel. Expect to suffer. Shalom.